Uh, ladies and gents, boys and girls, welcome to <sighs> Fate Mail Monday, which was so surprising because I really didn't expect the parcel to arrive at 8.30 Monday morning, considering I ordered it on Friday at like 2.30 or something, like just before 3, like just before 3. So uh, yeah, big ups to the guys from Vape Cartel. Um, yeah, flipping surprised it arrived so quickly. Um, but then again, I'm not surprised. You know, when people have got their shit together, they got their shit together. So, you might know, but you don't know. So, big problems with uh, China and not getting products sent to me anymore. Or, it looks like everyone has the same problem. Um, and I really wanted this device for quite a while. But, I was waiting for one to be sent to me. So I had to buy it myself. So um, there's two in here. <laughs> Not for you, fuckers. There's two in here for uh, um, a friend of mine because we were shopping together. And um, yeah, let's open it up. Let me look for my Blade of Glory. Look at that. The Blade of Glory. Sorry about the lighting in here. The, the workshop's very busy at the moment, so I don't want to film down there. And uh, yeah. Let's open this sucker up. <laughs> totally missed the dustbin. I hope you didn't notice. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, bud? Alex Mark Flipper. Duh. All right, let's have a look. Ah. I'll show you guys. Look at that. So they they got their own printed boxes. Your vape mail from Vape Cartel, premium goods supplier, better than a box of chocolates. <laughs> better than a box of chocolates. Hey Ruben Foster, what's happening, bro? I'm just doing a little vape mail. Charles von Rensberg, what's happening? I fucking lost this thing again, like fourth time but it was in a box there's my my test boxes of all the next salts that i'm doing at the moment riot squad up there cof over here and then other mtl juices there and then there's another shelf for all the other juices running low on juices to test as well shabir what's happening bro you got a you got a present coming your way bro al marie what's happening so yeah i've been without this cocoa pod for the weekend fuck a lifeline this little guy let me swing the camera down a little bit so you guys can see what's happening here i can still kind of see the comments the blade of glory <laughs> oh wow that's packaged really tight okay Wow, look at that. VPA notices what you need to know about vaping. I hope this comes out the right way. Let's see this. If uh, recent reports are about lung illnesses in the US have confused or concerned, here's a few points to consider. Wow, 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 guys, that is, that is amazing. Vape Cartel, Kieran Daly, you guys are fucking champions. Look at that. A little uh, VPA notice inside every box that goes out. So this is um, Vapors Product Association of South Africa. You can go find them, oh, Vapors Product Association South Africa. Yeah, um, I know that they're on, uh, on the web at uh vapors product association.org or vpa.org as well as they've got instagram and twitter and things like that all right inside the box vape cartel a little thank you note there um it says thank you for your order we truly appreciate your business trust that you're 100 percent satisfied with your online purchase your order was processed by and there's a little line where somebody should have written their name 
um, but all the all the details for vape cartel if you have any problems with your order I imagine that that's the invoice the purchase yep there we go there we go it's been checked so the products that we bought were ticked off checked and there's your invoice so if your invoice doesn't match what's in the box you got all their details right here so you can give them a quick call look at this I just want to show you something now because I also use the same program um, order was received by Brent Palmer so they checked this in two minutes um, the zapper process took another minute after that so that's done in three minutes uh, oh sorry order was done three minutes ago paid a minute ago and printed two minutes ago so that's how quick these guys are that's flipping amazing what's in the box put in the comment there quickly if you want to let's chat to me for a little bit before i show you put in the comments there what you think i've ordered in the box i'm going to start opening it up there's a whole bunch of uh, bubble wrap thanks guys i'll use that for one of my shipments to go out <laughs> oh so sexy so sexy <laughs> Yako Ludic, what's happening? Brandon, what's happening? Comments, guys, let's see the comments. What do you think I've bought? Mods. Yeah, that's that's kind of a, kind of a general statement. But I'll I'll go so far as to say they are mods. Two of them. Nope. I suppose it's a bit difficult to do a live video at 9 o'clock, 9.30 on a Monday morning. But my Monday just got better. RV for you, what's happening, bro? Everyone just popped in because I'm live and has disappeared. 17 people watching. Axial RDAs? No. Cold Steel Mod, no. Odin 200, no. Fuck, I'm battling to get the Odin 200. Yolandi Foster's what's happening, what's happening, what's happening? Definitely a mod, maybe. <laughs> yeah, definitely a mod, maybe. Odin, no, 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 I've got, I've got Odins already. Um, pod Systems. Remember, I'm reviewing a lot of Nick Salts and MTL juices at the moment, so I, I need a pod system, and I need a pod system that's rebuildable also bear in mind bvc is, we're testing out some um mtl coils at the moment that we make that we are making so uh, yeah it looks like we're on track for better viking coils to be launched on the first of march we'll have to maybe do a little launch party and things like that should be <laughs> oh bro two hex ohms that would be amazing but no 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 i'm not buying two hex <laughs> hex ohms i gotta get those for free bro yeah but that's a good place um vape cartel is the is the og oaks of hex ohms so if you want your hex ohms ah uh, sorrel the brain sorrel the brain did you process my order he just boosts baby he just boosts yeah yeah hello uncle kurt so like i said one is for me one is for a mate of mine we we purchased together online we've got free shipping as well so that's also cool uh kurt while you're watching i just want to show you something i received this parcel from vape cartel and inside my parcel was a vpa notice about uh the fake lung illness story how cool is that? Kieran Daly really putting some effort into the situation there. No, not Nord 2s. We got boosts. So, yeah, I think uh, I'll give this a little open up. I'm super excited to have this thing. I've watched all of the reviews on it. Um, I don't know if it's really worth doing a wicking tutorial. 3.75, 150. 1500 milliamp obviously i've got the gunmetal gray because gray is my color um 
boost. The Mighty Pod mod. Aegis boost. Now, I did separately go and buy the RBA kit for the boost. Hello, Robin. Love the boost with the RDTA. Yeah. So I bought the I bought the RBA section separately so we can put our own coils in there and test that. Also, when I'm doing juices, I want to take out the cotton, put a new juice, and I don't want to have to change like spend 50 rand on a sub ohm coil. Um, and I think that your RBA decks are becoming way popular now. Um, okay, so the Aegis Boost, just the information there. Very, very, very cool packaging. Oh, we've got a little ceramic thingy at the back here. Oh, what? Uh, metallic little tabs. Ooh la la. Oh, wow. That, that is... That is super sexy. But, I mean, they've kept the form exactly the same from the very first um, Aegis 100, then the Aegis Legend. Also, the metal framework here, the, the leather stitching there, and the rubberizing at the back here. Um, Boost Pod says push. Okay, it's got okay, it's got a little cap on it. Um, five ten tip. Look at that. Five ten tip. This is genuinely the first time I've even touched one of these. Uh, okay. Ah, there we go. So that's the uh, that's the sub ohm pod. I believe the coils are quite easily replaceable. You just pull them straight out and a new coil goes in. But let's check what's in the rest of the box. Uh, little geek vape thingy my bob there. 10 watts. Very clean screen. Um, I would imagine that this is waterproof. It's got it's got a little USB port over here, and it's yeah micro SD, um, and it's made to look like it's properly properly waterproof. But I don't know I don't know if it's as waterproof as the rest. Um, the lightest yet toughest pod. That supports the usage of a pod and an RDTA. Um, milliamp batteries, corrosion resistant, tear resistant, and it comes with two separate coils specifically designed for MTLs and direct lung. Highly re recommend that you. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's. Um, yeah, it doesn't say anything about being waterproof. 40 watts, max 40 watts, 100. 1,500 milliamp hours, mouth to lung, direct lung, pod and RDTA, airflow control, top fill juice, canthal mesh, and corrosion re resistance. I wouldn't say that that image there is quite waterproof. Um, and it doesn't say anything like that. So don't get brave with this thing and go and throw it in the, in the, in the pool, because you can. If you look on the inside here, uh, my lighting is poor in this shop. You see those little, yeah, I think that's where the air comes in from somewhere else. No, air comes through the actual pod. I don't know what those are, and it doesn't look like it would be waterproof to me. Okay, you just boost in the bottom here, use a manual, a black card. The black card is warning card. Do not use this device for anything other than vaping. Do not let your tank run empty. Do not overfill. Okay, warning cards. Aegis Boost. And then just it's advertising the Aegis Squonk. So that's cool. Let's see what our little spares box brings us. How the hell do you... Oh, there we go. All right. Micro USB cable. Some little... Um, Silica pellets there, keep things dry. Oh, it comes with a different type of drip tip there. So yeah, that was a 510 drip tip. You've got a smaller size drip tip that'll fit for you there. There's a spanner. I don't know quite what the spanner's for just yet. Nice little geek vape written on the tiny little spanner. Oh, something's stuck in there. Ah. It's a another coil. It doesn't say what this coil is, just it's another coil. Uh, 
prime coil for three minutes before using. Okay. Oh, I see what the spanner is for. I'll work that out. That little spanner should help you to remove. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's for. Help you remove your uh, your coil. So if you want to put your coil through the paces, G V boost coil. Yeah, I don't know what else goes in there. Anyway, let's have a look at the RBA deck. Oh, hold on. I don't think I pushed that in deep enough. No, hold on. I think. Uh, I think it's got to be lined up with something. There's two flat sides here. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's got to. The flat sides. Yeah, there we go. Now it's, it's proper. Okay, so that it doesn't rotate. Okay, that's cool. Let's have a look what we get in the RBA box. That's the boost RBA box. Um, two mil capacity, blah, blah, blah. I wonder if it's just the deck that fits in there. I haven't opened this yet. Oh, it's okay. Well, the size of the package would have told us that. Um, boost advert and how to do it, how to use it. Unscrew something. Unscrew. Oh, the bell housing. And put your coil in. So that's what that looks like compared to that. So it's pretty much the same. This is a little bit heavier. Um, yeah, because this top part here is metal. Oh, there we go. So you've got a little build deck on it. And that's a metal bell housing, also a 510 tip that goes on there. It's quite a bit of space in quite a bit of space in there. For a for an MTL coil or a direct lung coil. That's not too bad. Not too shabby, Nige. And then yeah, 510 drip tip on that. So that looks cool. That looks really cool. I think I'm actually gonna. Oh, there we go. This is a 0.4 ohm coil, and this other one is a 0.6. So the 0.4 ohm coil, this one in, that comes pre-installed, is 2 to 5 watts. It's canthal mesh, and the 0.6 one is best between 15 to 25 watts. It's also made of canthal mesh. So you've got canthal mesh coils here. I will give those a little whip around. I just want to see what comes in the rest of the uh, box for the RBA. Now, RBA, rebuildable deck, comes with two, there's, a, there's your trifecta screwdriver there, a, um, two grub screws and two tiny little springs. So, well, I'll have to look now. Um, I think that the, the screws on the deck are a um, spring-loaded. So it lifts the little plates up easier, help you easier. I'll get into some comments now. Uh, it comes with shoelaces, which is very cool cotton. Uh, another drip tip, very tiny little drip tip there. That's quite nice. You can see that. Also plastic though, but you know, I'll put in some fiber. And then, and then, and then, it comes with four different coils. I think it's four. No, I think it's... It's two, but they're the same. So it comes with a N80 fused Clapton coil, uh, 0.6, best between 20 and 30. It also comes with a Canthal spaced coil, 1.3 ohms, but best between 10 and... So that's the Canthal coil will be for your neck salts and the um, fused Clapton will be for your direct lung juices, your normal juices. That's pretty cool. Uh, I just wanted to check in this deck if that. Okay, same screw that goes in there. Right there. My own little. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, so that's spring loaded. As that screws out, oh, you see this, this phone deck? This, this deck springs up. So you can just put your leads in. Uh, that's very cool. It's cool that it's spring-loaded. It comes with two spare screws and two spare springs. So that's cool. I'll do a building tutorial on this when I put the bearded Viking coil in. Um, yeah, but that's 
that's very cool it's a very comprehensive little package here I must say um, let's get into the comments there for a second Dallas Bell is watching what's up Alan Ho says 0.4 stock is better I think better better than what sorry I'm not watching yeah 0.4 that comes in I would say 0.4 is probably better than a 0.6 um, for my style of vaping but then again oh yeah I got a great idea <laughs> I got this and there's like ice snowflakes in the background it's not not that icy I really I don't oppose ice juices I, I don't mind them but I just don't like icy 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 juices this thing's perfect it is I've been banging it the whole weekend it's fucking good hello gun uh I handed those notices from the VPA to the vape cartel to add to their career packages. Glad to see they're doing it. Yeah, bro. Thanks, Kurt. You're doing a great job, bro. We love you long time. Love the boost with the RDTA. Yeah, so I'm going to juice this up a little bit and see uh, see how it hits. Just dripping. I, don't, I know you don't need to do coil <laughs> wicking things. But just on the little holes where you can see cotton, just put a little drop in there to help the uh, help the coil to prime itself properly because you don't want to burn it out the first time you use it type situation. Oh yeah, this thing's sucking the juice. It's good to see that. Good, 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 good. Oh, I got this juice on Friday, halfway. I know, juice hall. <laughs> but it's really that good. Um, it's the, what? Exclamation question mark. I think there's one. Exclamation question mark by um, Punctuation Liquid E Company. E Liquid Company. So that's uh, available through the Steam Masters distribution agency. Thank you very much, Rayon, for supplying me with that little bit of love on Friday. Mm, greatly appreciated. Was it Friday? Thursday? Can't remember now. Okay, let's check. Yeah, now it's stopped sucking. Now what do I need to do? So I need to line up. You see it's got like a square slot. So it's half round and then two square slots. What's your favorite setup so far of the year? Of the year? Oh, there hasn't... I'm just going to lube up these little o-rings over here because I just feel that first time you use these things, it, it just needs to be correct. Um, favorite setup of the year so far. Oh, this is such a new year. Um, I want to tell you my favorite setups are things that I don't even own yet. I want that clutch. I want that clutch so bad. Uh, favorite setup of the year. Uh, I don't know because I'm I'm using I'm still using old stuff. So, so my newest setups, my Odin with a blotter on top, and I've got the uh, like the Odin with the acrylic body, matching drip tip blotter tank with a blacked out acrylic, um, and I've got hybrid stainless steel coils in here. So I'm using the replay function on the DNA chip. Amazing, 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 amazing setup. Um, yeah, I would probably say go with the Odin and the Blotto on top. I know it's so, but I've like done that already a whole bunch of times. Okay, so I clip this in, and I'm filling it, but I don't know where to fill it to. It said don't overfill, so I'm just going to clip it out again. Have a look at if there's a line on the side. To refill. I like the fact that the refills on the top here, so you don't have to take the whole pod out. Um, I, I don't know what overfill means. Let me just work this out. I've got juice on my fingers now. Oh, that can't come through there. I like this big wide tip though, the ergonomic tip. Let me try. Oh, there's. I use the computer screen so I can see what's happening in the. Oh, 
that's maybe why it said don't overfill I just squeezed the bottle and it pissed out a little bit it's got bubbles coming back uh, I will not be disappointed. Um, yeah, I look, I get sent a lot of things. It's not often that I buy my own things. So, hello, little boy. My little dude just woke up. Shame he's not well today. Go, go. Tata. Hey, what's up, Jason? Uh, you know what? I think I've got to lean this thing a little bit this way. I don't know how to fill this thing. I would say that this full port could probably be a bit bigger. And this smoked out black um, acrylic, the, the tank section, can't actually see what I'm doing, to be honest. To be fair. So, I'm trying to leave a little gap where the air can come through. Ah, there we go. That's looking much better. Nope, overfilled a little bit there. Okay, that's a bit fucking boring because I can't see if the air bubbles are coming through. The little nipple that goes back in to plug it is kind of in the way. It's kind of in the way here. Um, so I can't see if I'm leaving enough. Okay, there we go. There's a way to hold it. You just hold that rubber thing and pull it out of the way. Hello, Thor. Hello. Ooh. Love. Oh. Facebook. Nice. Thanks for following me, bro. Thanks for the support. I appreciate your effort. I do follow you. What a dick. <laughs> Sorry, I'm busy. Sorry, I'm busy working. Yeah. Somebody's got to do the real work. That's Thor. Ah. So this little airflow control is metal. I will realize that. Hold on. I think I'm doing something wrong here, to be dreadfully honest. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay, we're going to go with full airflow. There is some juice in there, but there's a. if I look sideways here, there's a massive bubble. So I don't know how to get rid of that. That should be saturated enough. I fucked around with it long enough. Got some got a biscuit. Is it gray marker? A... Uh, was over here just now somewhere. Okay, well, uh, what does this coil say? Best between 25 and 35. I wonder if it's going to give me a reading. New coil, 0.4 ohms. Because it tells me that there. New coil, 0.4 ohms. Okay. Um, yes. I guess it comes preset on 10 watts. What did it say? It's best between 25 and something else. I'll put it on 30. See? You know, that's nice. Because of the ergonomics, the shape of this tip, you can just turn it to whichever hand you're using in, and then it goes, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the flavor's fucking on point here. I mean, it's a good flavor, but that mesh coil is working really well. I think I like this whole setup, and this is something that I'm not necessarily going to lose, um, and that's it compared to a Caliburn, but it is a bit more substantial, uh, it's tiny as anything, but uh, not air activated, so you have to use the little button, I find the button's a bit low down on the device, if it was a bit higher, that would be better, but it's kind of it's kind of past where your thumb would go. Maybe you just have to shoot it like that. Uh, need to look up the tracking on your barrage. Yeah, Chris. Like I said, welcome to Africa Post, bro. Um, Yeah, this thing's... I think I'm in love, gents. I think I'm in love. Yeah, I did quite a bit of research. I spoke to quite a few people about 
what pod system was best to do rebuilds on because I've chased go through a lot of different juices and I need to if I don't like a juice I've wasted like 50 60 rand on a disposable pod so I need to be able to rebuild it wash it out or whatever and that's why we got the RBA kits <coughs> sorry this cold weather is <coughs> it's hot in the day and it's cold at night got a little bit of wet chest uh, Kurt Yeo says, um, uh, Brent, I want that tip on the RDTA, make a plan. Where is the rebuildable? Um, the standard tip that comes with it, Kurt. I've got a tip similar to this. It's called the Cooler Boy. Um, but I'll match up the size and see. These are also pretty cool, but I like the I like the shape of this tip. Ah, ugh, gotta push the button. Oh, this flavor of this it, I mean you know that the Steam Masters boys make good juice. Because well, they've got a great business around their juice. But damn, the juice is good. I haven't been in love with this with a survey juice or steam masters juice quite as much as this in a while um shit that's good taste this right i think no nah, i'll just i think we're gonna probably bump up the wattage a bit oh that's so easy to do because all you have to do is click that up and then you can read on the bottom of the coil what wattage you know how many times you like with a sub ohm coil and you're trying to read through the juice in the tank to see what the best wattage is best between 25 and 33 so i've got it on 30 and i'm a max character so oh and it's a new coil and i said no it's not new coil From that tiny little device, it's fucking amazing. Damn, I'm gonna do some good reviews on that thing. I love the stuff that comes out of Geek Vape. Geek Vape? Oh, they good. I mean, fuck, I'm still running this Geek Vape. Yeah, the, the 200? What is this called? The Legend. The Aegis. 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 I don't know, everyone can say it their own way. Aegis, Aegis. Eh, same like thing. Evil Dildo. Evil e Dildo. The Evil Dildo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Geek Vape come up with some pretty good things. Pretty good things. I just like the black and orange. It's like stands out. It's skip. Oh. Hey, Ficky Awesome, what's happening? Fick, have you got this yet, bro? I'm not bragging anything, I promise. I just, fuck me, this stuff is nice. Like, I don't understand why they had to bring out two different flavors. And then after six months, realize that those two flavors just belong together. Like peanut butter and jam. I mean, fuck. Great flavors on their own, but you put them together. I'm not American like that. It's jam. My audience is South African. Peanut butter and PB and J. Peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Yeah, well. You fucking millennials. It's peanut butter and jam in South Africa. No. Nobody calls it PB and J. I mean jelly. Cuck mad to be live this early, bro. I've got the most followers I've ever had. <laughs> most people online right now. No, no, it's just I got it. I got a bit overexcited. I uh, I bought a couple of these, and uh, with the RBA kits and whatever. Check that shit, bro. Obviously, we're gonna change that. Some screws over here. I'll I'll take it apart soon enough. Oh dear, I don't think it comes apart. No, it does. It slides off the top. So if I undo those screws, that whole metal piece will come off the top like that, and then we can change this. If we, I probably will because well, that's what I do. But airflow is pretty smooth. Bro, what do you mean I don't like you anymore? I love you, bro. I was on your live the other night for like half an hour. You just ignored all my comments.
this is a fucking match made in heaven. I'm telling you what. I'm not, I'm not, I don't get paid to, to say this, but this shit's good. Fucking really good. And uh, yeah, I, I was struggling. That There was like uh, three or four online stores that had these Aegis um, boost kits. So I had to grab them because everyone that I know in Durban, I went to their stores and they were sold out. Like, bang. Yeah, Chris, I was actually going to mention, like, isn't that a bit late for you? <laughs> 3 a.m. Yeah, I always I wake up in the morning and then I, I see notifications like thesis was live at again, live in half an hour. And then I click on it like that, but the show ended like six hours ago. So I'm going to I'm going to come on uh, thesis's patron live video sometime. I don't know when it is. I'm asking him, but he's very slow to reply. I think uh, WhatsApp isn't something that you guys use a lot in the States. Yeah, that's the only bitch I can say. Put them on top. Uh, I don't have that order slip for the ending to. I'll reprint it. Shot. I would say that the only, like, just using it for 10 minutes, the only thing I can say that I. Uh, that, that fire button is just in the wrong place. Like, if it was here, how do you hold this thing? Yeah, so if you look at that, that's where the fire button should be, where the airflow is, because now I'm having to open my hand a bit to put my thumb on the thing. So it should be there, like that, so I can fire it, or on this side. Because it's a tiny device, it's pretty small. And pretty much disappears in my whole hand. I don't have like really, really big hands. So when you're holding it, you the fire button's halfway down. So it's it's hard to, you have to, it's nice because your finger fits in there and that finger fits there. So it's like that, but you're not gonna hold it in your palm. I was on your live too, Fick. Don't talk cuck now. I was on Rashid's as well, but I was on your live. When you were helping the, the chick in the, in the shop there, she was, uh, she, you were changing out a juice for her or something like that, and you did the nose hits. Yeah, I was on, bro. You want to come be my epi for a few days, bro? I'll pull in, dude. I'll even take you fishing. How about that? You must only open your hand to put on a, the thing. Well, if you did it this way, your fingers... So if you hold it sideways, which is very uncomfortable, you can use your middle finger. I'm getting a sweetness from this juice now that I wasn't getting on my on my blotto tank. Yeah, it's way more sweeter. Yeah, so when your comments hey Rashid, what's happening, bro? Go back to work. Vicky, when your um comments aren't refreshing, what I found is my battery my battery was at 10% the other day and my comments just stopped. So we had been doing a video. And as soon as I plugged into an external power source, my because I shoot from my phone, um, then the comments started coming back in. So you must just check your battery level when, you, when you're shooting. Hell, this is a fucking nice device. And I'm just using the standard pod that came with it, with a 0.4 ohm coil. I'm shooting it at uh, 33 because it says best between 25 and 33. And I'm like an all-out guy, so yeah, all the wattage I can take and all the airflow. Actually, let's play with that airflow, but I want to see if it does restrict. So I'm halfway. Uh, it keeps asking me a new coil every time I put the pot in, which is good, which is really clever, because if you swap between your sub-ohm deck 
and your RBA deck, your wattage needs to be different. So it stops and asks you. So that, that's a nice little, little safety. Ah, uh, Rashid, hey, handsome. What's happening? Yeah, it's it's proper airflow. I haven't had a pod that has proper, proper air, um, airflow. Airflow's closed, closed. <coughs> wow. Yeah, I like all the airflow. Some people are going to say it's a little noisy, but so am I. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked with this. I'm pretty fucking stoked. Let's have a little chat. Who's here? <coughs> Your phone was plugged in. Yeah. Okay. Um, slow internet then? I, I'm not sure. How cuck is it that we can't do joint videos anymore? Um, yeah, we can, bro. You just have to come on my channel. <laughs> um, tomorrow night, I'm trying to trying to bring in a group of guys from the UK they're doing a very good fundraiser a 12 hour video on Sunday um, will be worth a watch um, and all jokes aside I'm probably going to tease them quite a bit and they're going to make fools of themselves but it's not their faults um, yeah the three gentlemen I'm talking about are um, well they, they suffer with Tourette's and the one dude is a British citizen, but he grew up in South Africa, so he's got a South African accent and all of that. The other two gentlemen are from the UK. And um, I'm in chats with them now about coming on the live tomorrow night. So, yeah, it's it's a serious it's a serious thing. Um, but the way that we've chatted is that um, they, they blurt out random comments and things like that. It's not always swear words. Sometimes it's quite vulgar swear words. So we'll have to just put up a little apology before we, we go live. Um, yeah, but it's a serious epidemic. Uh, epidemic. It's a serious issue that's that's not brought to life in South Africa at all. Nobody. Joel, <laughs> thanks for joining, bro. Um, yeah, so it's a serious thing that mental illness. And uh, these guys have a YouTube channel. I'll explain everything tomorrow night. Uh, and they, um, because they suffer as of Tourette's, and other issues they have a channel that discusses and talks about mental illness and things like that and depression and anxiety and all of this so yeah really good bunch of guys i met them over in the birmingham uh, uh expo and they asked if they could get a photo with uh vaping bogan and myself and we're standing like in between the three of them because and it took us about 20 minutes to get a photo because th they have ticks so they have vocal vocalizations where they like shout out random shit uh, and it's completely random and no one should ever take offense to it at all. It's not like a suppressed thought that's actually come out. It's really the one guy calls him like I'm a shark and he does this. He has a, a motor twitch and he has a vocal twitch and he puts his hand on his head like this the whole time. He just does this and he goes, I'm a shark. I'm a shark. And like. Uh, it's the Misfits. Misfits on YouTube. Sorry that I didn't mention that. Uh, yeah, the Misfits. So we're going to have a chat with them. Hopefully tomorrow night they'll be on the live. If not, um, I'll, I'll make sure I have somebody else present. Still struggling with the internet. Still trying to get my Vox line approved. I'm doing that today. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll chat to the guys from the Misfits uh, tomorrow night. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, if everything pans out. Uh, Rafiki says, let's go to Dubai, bro. I, hey, I shipped a couple of parcels to Saudi Arabia the other day. The other day. Uh, and Japan. Very weird. PM as soon as you can, please. Yeah, okay. Uh, Kurt, I'll give you a call after this then, bro. Yeah, Dubai. Dubai. Um, Sam's going to Dubai. So we're trying to arrange our trip now for Birmingham and Stuttgart in May. And then I think Dubai's in June. So uh, hopefully we can sort Dubai out. Um, so it all depends if we can get Dovfo to, to get a stand there. And, uh, so we can retail our merch. Sorry, the brain. Okay, dude, since uh, I guessed that you had in the box, 
please clean my boost before you ship it to me. <laughs> yeah, sure, buddy. Sure. Dean Erasmus, what's happening, bro? So you kind of have to hold it like a pterodactyl or a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Rashid, yeah, I'll call you as well, bro. Yeah, so uh, what's, this is a uh, Monday morning vape mail, which doesn't happen often. Sorry, I've got a bit of a fluish. Um, but yeah, I bought myself some stuff on Friday, late Friday afternoon. I wonder if the invoice says what time I bought it. And Vape Cartel managed to get it to me 8.30 this morning. Yeah, it does. It just says minutes ago. Oh, wait, there we go. 2.40 p.m. on Friday. On Friday. 2.40. That's 20 minutes before the, DHL, the, the career guy cut off. Very impressed with them as well as when I received my parcel speedily. There was a VPA poster in it. I'm super stoked about that. That is so cool. That um, Vape Cartel and Kurt Yeo are, are teaming up. That's so cool. I'm going to read that notification a bit later. What's up, Gene Erasmus? Let's see. Uh, okay. Oh, really? Fiki, you also want me to call you after this video? Everyone wants me to call them after this video. I haven't got airtime. I'll send you a please call me. <laughs> you also want to be called same fig. All right, well, that's it. Um, it's supposed to be a little quick video. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gents, boys and girls, for joining in the Monday Madness. What, what was, oh, the Monday Night Mutters. If you guys remember, my first segments was a Monday Night Mutters. It was about workshop talk and all of that. Kurt, I'll call you first. Uh, Rashid, I'll call you after that. And uh, Rafiki, I will call you if I have any airtime left. All right, cool. I'm done. That was it. It was just a little pop on. A huge, huge thank you to Vape Cartel, Vandy Vape. Better than a box of chocolates. Uh, yeah. yeah. Is it going to echo? Come here, come here, let's see. It's slightly delayed though. Hello, Thor. Thank you for joining us. It's quite a delay. For joining in the Monday Madness. What, what was O? Oh, the Monday Night? Matters. That was a while ago. You guys remember my first <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you all later. Thank you very much. Cheers.